Hello and welcome to the worst tackles in football history. Today we are going to be taking a look at some absolute crunches. They are horrendous. Now, I know you guys commented on the last one and you said that you wanted to see the actual clips within my video and that is not something that I can do you guys. I did, obviously I always read all your comments. If you do want to tell me anything, suggest anything, pop it down in the comment section. If you do enjoy this video, do drop a like. If you could smash 5,000, I will bring you guys the funniest tackles ever. But like I was saying, do listen to you guys and I take all your feedback on board and I'm trying to make my videos better all the time but that is literally something I cannot do. That stuff is property of like the FA and the Premier League and stuff like that and you will just get a copyright strike instantly on your channel if you put real life football clips. I know Matt HD Gamer does it but he's dicing with death and he only tends to use the lower league clips and stuff like that that aren't as strict about it. So we've got some massive players in and we need to show you guys the actual big players doing some horrendous tackles. So instead in the description there is a link of all of the tackles basically that I have put in this video. There's a link to each one. You can go over there, watch them, see yourself and basically just click through them as you're watching this video if you want and you can watch along as I go through the players. But let's get into this video and there is, like I said, a couple of big players in this video so if you don't want to get any coins to pick them up, one of them actually isn't out in packs yet but he will be soon so make sure you go over, check out IG Sky. They've got tons of different methods to buy your coins now that price caps are coin. So go and check them out and the discount code AJ3 will get you a cheeky discount as well. The link is down in the description. But Let's get in and start taking a look at some of the worst tackles just ever. And the one that inspired this is the Sunday League tackle. I am sure you guys have seen this. You can watch it. It was filmed from like 10 foot away by some guy on his camera. And the crunch is horrific. Like there is some of these that I would recommend not watching if you are a bit squeamish. This is maybe one of them. You don't see him like break his leg or anything like that like in the other ones. I don't think. But the noise. Oh my god. It is Awful. So we've got this guy in there, Friday, representing him because it is a Sunday league tackle and there's no player called Sunday. There's no player called Saturday, so we've gone for Friday instead. So you've got a Friday league tackle and by God, is it one of the worst tackles I've ever seen simply for the fact that you can hear the noise. Usually in all these professional ones, you can't hear the noise over the crowd. But with this, it's like 10 foot away and the crunch is just sickening. At centre-back, we have got Pedro Mendes, but it's not the Pedro Mendes, it's not the one that this is talking about. We've got him in there to represent the Pedro Mendes that used to play for Portsmouth, who got knocked out cold whilst playing, right, whilst not really doing anything, to be perfectly honest. He was kind of chasing towards the ball, it was about to go out for a throw-in. Someone comes flying in with an elbow, and not just like shoulder to shoulder, not elbow to shoulder, elbow to head. Absolutely wipes him out. He's just sprawled across the floor out cold. It is crazy. He was just literally lying on the front of the pitch. He like skidded as he got hit past the throwing line and just lying up against the boards with the advertising on. Literally just out cold. Got absolutely smashed. It was a terrible attack. And a lot of people were actually saying that the guy should have got like done for assault and stuff like that. I know some of these stuff, some of these are just going to be, whilst he might be a little bit malicious, a lot of the time they are literally just really badly timed and a bit of an accident. They don't go out to hurt the person. But this one, he literally just ran in with his elbow and just, boom, in his face, knocked him out cold and it was basically assault. It was horrendous. Next, we've got another guy who went out to deliberately hurt the person that he fouled. We have got Roy Keane. Roy Keane said in his autobiography that he actually went out with it in mind to injure or hurt Haaland. And this is because in a previous game, Haaland had injured him and basically laughed at him. Like, I think he damaged... Roy Keane's cruciate ligament, is that the one? Is that the one in your knee that everyone seems to injure? I'm not too sure. The ligaments in his knee basically kicked Keane in the knee and basically ruined them for him and he was out for ages and he basically laughed at him while he was on the floor. So when the next played, Keane went out with revenge in mind and went out deliberately to hurt him and holy shit did he hurt him. He ended the guy's career. Again, went for the knee. Keane comes in, studs up, just crunches on his knee. Where you see them tackles where people stamp and you're going to hear about a lot of them now and that goes through the shin and breaks the leg and stuff. He basically did it to this guy's knee. His knee just went sideways. It is horrendous when you go and watch it. Go and see it. It's got like a slow-mo replay in afterwards. It is grim. I would recommend staying away from that one as well if you don't want to win. But just end of the guy's career basically. He couldn't play football anymore because of what Roy Keane did to him. And the fact that he went out to deliberately do it is just absolute insanity. Next up, we have got Axel Witzel who stamped on Wazalewski or something like that. Was one of them challenges that shattered the guy's ankle or leg. This was like his lower leg, so fair down. It may have even been his ankle, but again, slow-mo replay. You can literally see him stamp through and then his ankle or his leg just caves in like that when he's broke the poor guy's leg. The guy is fine. He's back up and playing football and stuff like that. And I think Witzel was banned for like nine games or something like that. Personally, I, you can't, again, you can't really say, like with the Keane one, it was malicious. And in my opinion, Keane shouldn't have been able to play football anymore because he deliberately went out and did that to the guy. And he shouldn't be, I think he should be banned 
for as long as it takes the other guy to get back and healed and stuff like that, you get what I mean? It's like a minimum of three games, but you're not allowed to play football again until the other guy is fit too. So for example, Wazilewski was out for thing for about nine months. I don't think if Witzel went out and did it deliberately, I don't think he should have been allowed to play football for nine months, but that is not something that you can actually prove with most of them. Keynes was only admitted after the fact. And Witzel was banned for five games for what was a horrendous tackle, which you guys can go and check out. Next to him, we've got a pretty funny one. And I was kind of saving this for the funny ones, and I may put it in anyway. But again, it's just an absolutely dreadful tackle, and it actually kind of hurt the guy, but still absolutely hilarious and kind of just lightens the atmosphere in here a little bit. We've got Danny Guthrie, who literally just ran over. Someone was shielding the ball in the last minute, and he just ran over and just twatted them in the leg. Literally, like a UFC fighter, where you do like a lower leg kick, just run over, full sprint, just boots him in the leg and carries on running past. It is crazy. I'm not, the guy didn't seem to be here too much. You can go and check it out. He jumps up and has a proper go at Danny Guthrie. And I'm not surprised, but still just one of the worst tackles you've ever seen in your life, basically. And the guy is just a little bit of a knobhead. So let's move on then to another bit of a crazy one. We've got Stefan Yenko, who is playing for the Ukraine in a match against Moldova. I'm not too sure when it was, but if you go and watch the clip, it's pretty HD, so I think it was recently. Basically, Kung Fu kicked someone in the friggin' head. Not just a crazy Kung Fu kick like you guys are going to see in a minute. Literally, side of the neck, in the head, this guy nearly kicked the... I don't even know what to say about this one. There is literally no justifying it. It's a place where you would have to jump to win a header, and he jumped with his foot and nearly took the guy's head off. He is off his rocker. No idea what sort of vodka that guy was drinking before he went to the game, but he is just crazy and just doesn't, apparently just doesn't use his head. He'll just karate kick you in the head instead. But let's move on to another guy getting kicked in the head. And this one shocked me because it's Diaby who was doing the injury. And he's not getting injured. He's doing the injury and he took it on upon him himself to single-handedly try and kick races and out of football so he went and he booted John Terry straight in the face <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing this is absolutely terrible but basically John Terry goes for a diving header DRB goes for a hoof up the pitch of a clearance Terry gets the ball and DRB gets his head I'm laughing because Terry's okay and Terry's a bit of a dickhead and Terry's a racist and trying to kick races and out of football I probably shouldn't be laughing because Terry could have seriously been injured, but he wasn't, so it's okay, and we can laugh about it after the fact. And that is our booty army with one of the worst tackles, not really a tackle, one of the worst mistimed clearances ever that basically ended up in a tackle on the other guy's head, which again is just absolutely mental. Speaking of head injuries then, we are going to move to Schumacher. And Michael Schumacher, this is actually kind of weird because he got this Schumacher in to represent a different Schumacher who nearly almost killed a guy called Batterson when they were playing an international game. We've also got Michael Schumacher who was injured really badly. I'm not too sure what's going on with Michael Schumacher either when he was skiing, but this is a football one and this one isn't something to laugh about. This guy almost died. Like It was one-on-one. -on -one. The ball is in the middle of the goalkeeper and the attacker. And they're both charging towards the ball. The attacker gets there first. The goalkeeper jumps up in the air and kind of turns sideways to, uh, to get out of the way of it or to minimise the damage that he's going to get. He didn't want to get crunched straight like in his belly or in his face or anything like that. So he jumps and turns sideways. His hip ends up smashing the guy, other side of the guy's head. And he was like out cold and his teammates thought he died and all stuff like that. It's absolutely crazy. You can go and watch that one. It doesn't seem as bad as it is when you first see it, but apparently the backstory to it, like, he almost ended up in a coma and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure if that is true, but even still, it was crazy. Like, the difference between the one where Terry ended up all right in the end, and this guy apparently still, like, gets pain from her and stuff like that years and years later from getting absolutely crunched in the face by this guy's hip. Finishing off the midfield then to lighten the atmosphere up a little bit, we have got Joey Barton. He could have been in this multiple, multiple times. He's a crazy, crazy fella. But we've gone for the one that Adrian Childs, Adrian Childs christened. Actual good banterous commentary from Adrian Childs. Who would have thought it? He christened this Joey Barton's tackle on a tackle because he basically stamped on the guy's balls. It is, again, what is Barton going on? It's not quite as crazy as the guy who cratty kicks someone in the head, but it's still a good effort to get your foot right the way up and in someone's groin and get them in the knob. So Joey Barton is a bit of a knob himself, and he's in this video for quite possibly any tackle Joey Barton ever makes could go in this video, but we've put that one in because it's pretty funny, and it is a tackle on a tackle. Second to last, we have got Yappy Yappo, who was tackled by a guy called Sandro Visa, as I think I pronounced his name, and he just got, again, a horrendous through the leg crunching tackle. You guys can go and watch that if you want to see someone get their leg broken, but it is not pretty at all. And again, just one of the 
There's so many, so many leg breaks that you could put in this. I could have put Aaron Ramsey in. I would have put Eduardo in if I could have, but he's not in the game anymore. So we've just gone for this one. This is the classic stamping on someone's leg and seeing their leg go floppy and like it's all the funny angles. and ugh, It's not, not attractive at all. And that is why he is in this video. To finish it off then, we have got Nigel De Jong's Kung Fu kick. Again, we are loving the Kung Fu kick tackles in this video. The one on Javi Alonso in the World Cup, straight in Alonso's chest. So he's got it in between. Joey Barton went for the lower tackle. Stapinenko went for the head. De Jong went for the chest and absolutely crunched Javi Alonso in the World Cup. So, you guys can go and watch all them. Like I have said, there's links to all of them in all of that down in the description. You can go and click on them. Don't want to put them on my channel because I'm not risking my channel getting copyright strikes and getting shut down and stuff like that. So, sorry for that, guys, but that is just not something I am willing to risk. You guys can still go and watch them all and stuff like that. Apart from that, though, that is where we're going to leave it. Like I said, if you would like to see the funniest tackles ever, drop a like on this video and I will get around to organising that one for you guys. But for now, this is where we're going to leave it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and I will see you next time.